if you are a node.js developer then definitely you have used nodemon at some point in your life i have been using it for last uh, four five six years maybe and uh, it was the one of the amazing tool to use whenever you're just getting started and uh, even developing like bigger project uh, which had multiple files in it now that node.js implemented this feature natively in their own package uh, we can use uh, that instead of nodemon but uh, nodemon will be remembered always uh, but it's time for uh, now to go ahead and learn new technique uh, which node.js provided so without delay let's get started okay i have built one simple node.js application here using express just the regular stuff which you do whenever you are using node.js uh, for backend development uh, and uh, usually the method would have been uh, yarn add dash d and nodemon and nodemon used to get installed then after that i used to run the application using uh, nodemon and server and whenever I used to run this particular project, I had to add yarn in the beginning. Whenever I used to run this particular command, the project used to get refreshed whenever we made any changes. That's what nodemon is for if you don't know about it. So now we don't have to install any kind of package. Just make sure you have latest node.js LTS version installed. This is important because in previous node.js versions, this feature is not implemented and it's still experimental, but it's usable. I tried it. So in order to run this particular uh, thing and uh, even uh, to make sure it uh, understands the change. So let me just try to do node server dot JS and it's printing hello world. And problem is if I just go here and say now and save it, it doesn't get updated, meaning it's still showing the old version of this particular thing. Now imagine like you are having some API and you have made some important changes. And now if you go to your postman or even browser and test uh, like what happened, uh, like what's the new change, you will not see anything. So best way to do that would have been uh, to make sure like uh, the changes have been updated was nodemon but now we don't have to use it we can just use uh, node dash dash watch and name of the file and if i just do this much uh, it will print hello world now and now if i go and change it to something like hello world today and save it then it prints hello world today and uh, it's exactly like nodemon there is no like much uh, difference uh, you can change whatever you want to change hello world uh, now this world now this world is amazing let me type it properly today uh, yeah and i saved it and it uh, prints uh, this now this world is uh, amazing today command is node dash dash watch server uh, but if you have noticed, uh, I'm not sure like if it's bothering you, but uh, it's actually clearing whenever I save it. See, it gets cleared and uh, it's again printing it. But if you are developing and uh, if you want to see previous logs and all, you don't want that to happen. Best way to do that would be to add node watch dash dash watch preserve output server so if i just do this much it will make sure it the output is preserved even if you make any change so let me just change it back to hello world again and if you save it it will preserve whatever the output was there previously and it will just enter the new change so let me just change it to 5000 just to make sure like it saves yeah this is exactly how nodemon used to work you don't have to like print this much long output whenever you are doing let me just copy it out to go to packet.json and add one script if you didn't know this before and if i just type dev and copy paste whatever i used to type here and if i just paste it now i don't have to type that particular thing again and again i just have to type npm run dev if i just say enter it it will just uh, type hello world uh, server started on port 5000 and let me just uh, change it uh, now yeah it's restarting and it's printing 
node bond will be missed but uh, surely this is the best way and uh, the way you will be using uh, ching mechanism of uh, node.js henceforth so it's still experimental but uh, whenever it gets released officially we will stop getting that warning but uh, you can use it for your day-to-day -day coding project uh, instead of using node mon uh, but uh, make sure you have latest version of node.js uh, installed uh, lts probably because uh, you don't want uh, latest change breaking your other projects and all uh. so lts would be fine and uh, use this new feature today so that's it for this video guys and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to me if you want to see more videos like this and uh, that's all see you in the next video Bye bye